Hello, welcome back to Factorio C Block, where we're going to continue on making our glass mixture. So it looks like I need the Mark II to make the glass mixture. Is that, yep, yeah, that's, that's what it is. So four of them, one, two, three, four. Not a problem. So everything, I updated everything, and as you can see, Clarifier's got a new look. Let's see if anything else got a new look. Mm, they look the same. Yeah, they look the same, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Floating Cells got a new look. Ooh! Ooh, that's so good! What about... Or sorting facilities, oh man, they look more cleaner. Oh, that's amazing. Um, what is going on here? So it reset all my... No, I have it turned on. Hmm, interesting, it reset a lot of my stuff. I didn't think it was going to change all the stuff. So everything looks the same. I don't see anything changed on the pellet presses and blast furnace or the ore processors. Um, I'm stuck on pipes. Forgive me. Uh, what are we backed up on? Gold? No. Copper. We are backed up on copper um all right give me a another brass chest there we go there So there we go. Uh, everything's gonna clear out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get back to what we were doing. I can't believe we're backed up on iron. Uh, manganese. Waiting on the ore to get there. I'm stuck on pipes again. But yeah, that's pretty good. We're backed up on iron still. How much cobalt do I have on me? None? Let me pick up some cobalt. Um, here it is. That'll help use some iron. Let's back this up. And we're going to drive down here. Ooh, how much brass do I have on me? I got a decent amount. Ain't a whole lot, but it's a decent amount. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and we're here. I've got to get chlorine being used or burned off. Let me throw something down. Oh, flare stack's got a new look. Not, I mean, somewhat visually, but not really. Um, overflow... Uh, why do we have these overlapping each other? Well, if we're going to do this, might as well do that. And might as well do that. I mean... It would probably be better if we went like this. Hold on. Looks 
Sorry, I'm trying to make this look better. That's okay. So what else do I need a cobalt for? Let me look at this real quick. Let's see if there's anything I need to make. Usage. Ha ha. I can make, art I can make plasma turrets now. Ooh, baby. I could see why we want to use those inoculation dishes to make alien artifacts to make plasma turrets. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's look at Cobalt Steel Gear Wheels. Sniper Turret Mark Twos, Express Splitters. Okay, that was another thing. Uh, obviously the belts, so that's it on those. Sniper Turrets. Okay, that's it. I really want to get the, to the steam turbines. Those are really cool. I like to just see them. All right, so back to what we are doing. One, two, three, four. Now we can do the upgraded version. Why did I run it like this? Why not run it like this and then down? We're gonna do that first. Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got we've got both ingredients being made. All right, the next thing is taking our glass mixture and turning it into glass. Now, this needs 12, which four of these should support one of these because these produce... Um, what was that? One and a half? So it's four seconds. Four seconds. So these produce three every four seconds. So three, six, nine, twelve every four seconds. And this needs twelve every four seconds. Um, we're going to have two belt, or two inserters. Reason being is because... There's that just so we're getting it faster all right so now we've got that now came to the next issue which was this so when we go to do casting machine using casting machines we're going to also need molten lead which is going to output lead oxide now making all this is not going to be a problem. But that lead oxide is going to need carbon. <sighs> okay, so how do I want to do this? Should we The molten glass And the reason why I'm asking that is because, see, the strain casting is going to make our glass fiber. Which we need to make fiberglass boards. And I'm pretty sure there may not be any other way to make fiberglass boards. You know what, we're just, no. Yes, this is the only way to make fiberglass boards. So, what I'm getting at was my liquid resin is all the way at the bottom. All the way. And that's taking urea gas and formaldehyde. Melamine gas, that's urea and blue metal catalyst. Formaldehyde is green and methanol. 
you can also get I swear there was another way you can get uh, resin I'm pretty sure there was another way you can get liquid res resin and it was from plants that's rubber that's cooking oil they might have got rid of it that's plastic yeah they might have gotten rid of it it's probably what it is let's go back uh, and what I mean by back is back through all the research uh-huh uh-huh that's that I'm pretty sure there was a plant way of making resin because here's swamp there's desert and I'm sure there was one other one other research hmm but I guess they removed it I think that's might might be what it is they might have just removed it yeah that that looks like that's what happened okay so seems like we only have two options to make resin now no 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 there it is why didn't yeah there is there it is that's what I was looking for I was gonna say I knew there was other ways so bisphenol a liquid? What is that? Phenol and acetone and hydrochloric acid. Phenol is made by benzene. <gasps> Ooh, benzene. Yeah. I got a crap ton of butane. That would be so good to get rid of. But I can't do it right now. Because I don't have the research which needs green and I don't have that yet mm. okay let's let's go back nope back again that's that okay what about this ethanol is easy uh, ethanol is made by nutrient pulp I'm pretty sure there was other ways to make ethanol Anyway, doesn't matter. So, ethanol is just made by fermentation base or nutrient pulp, which I can make with nutrient pulp, but I don't need butane. That's the last thing I need. Fermentation base, corn, fruits, fish oil. Looks like fruits would be the best. That wouldn't be hard. I don't need lubricant, and I don't need base mineral oil, so don't need any of that. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay, so we make that from fruits. Let's just say we make it from fruit. There's a 50% chance we'll get compost. Okay. So then raw bio resin. Okay. So all it is is five soil, which we got tons of that, temperate tree seeds, and water. Got plenty of water, temperate tree seeds. That's it? It's just soil and water to make it, that is so easy. And that just needs temperate arboretum one.
Wait a second. Oh. Uh, uh, I don't understand why they're doing that. So that gives us 10 liquid resin. Or doing this could give us 10 to 40 liquid resin. Which is not bad. But this is faster in terms of crafting time. <sighs> hmm. I will need to work on that and get that researched. But in the meantime... Um... Okay, so in the meantime, this just needs our molten glass. Then the glass fiber and liquid resin, which we have. So basically, long story short, is this glass fiber, I was going to have to run it down the bus, which is quite a ways down. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was that I needed it. It was four phenolic boards, but I can't remember where I made those at. Yeah, they're going to be quite a ways down, so I'm going to have to run it all the way down. And... Which, that only needs, what, liquid? Yeah. Molten glass. It just needs molten glass. So, I'm trying to decide if I want to do that first. Or deal with the fiberglass board. Not the fiberglass, but the uh, making actual glass. Hmm. I'm going to deal with the actual glass first. So to do that, we need molten lead and molten glass. So this is making our molten glass. And do I have the furnaces? So to make that, I need a casting, mach casting machine of one. And I don't have none. So let's make two of those. Make sure I don't have none in here. Hiding out on me. Which I have clarifiers on me. I don't know why I had just one on me. And then, Okay, don't matter. Um... How do we generally have this? Let's see. When we're producing stuff, that is. Um, mm, we're not making like that. Do I have any other ones? I should. I thought I had more. Okay, let me look at this one. Yeah, there we go. So, do I want it to be straight on the belt like that, or do I want it like this? Oh, where's that? I'd rather it be out, not just straight on a belt. So, we'll go out one. Maybe that'll be good. Out. Yeah, that's perfect. Sweet. So, output, output. This will be... Oh, is that how it needs to be? It's hard to tell which one's which. Okay. I think it would be better like that. So, pipe, pipe. This is going to give us our glass and lead oxide. So we'll run that down for a little bit. Um, did we have... We didn't have anything running right here, I don't think. So let's just say that's where it's going. Oh... Okay, so if we're outputting lead oxide, let me run this over. Lead. 
here it is. Molten lead. Ooh, that sucks. But, doable. Um, I don't have any. Do I have splitters on the, on the bus? Uh, 50's fine. No, I don't. Okay, I'm sorry folks, let me go get my car. We'll drive over there, get some splitters. But I need to put a splitter there. You know what? Let me do this real quick. This, this. I don't need lead plate, so thanks, but no thanks. Why are we not outputting? Oh, for, I don't know why that was spun around. That's so weird. Okay, whatever. Alright, there's that. Okay, that gives us that. Let me go grab regular splitters. And then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get that lead oxide. Oh no, no. I have it gonna be running up north because I had... No. No, what was I gonna do? Uh, landfill? Yep, give me that. Uh, we'll just drive straight across since that's gonna be the safest pass. Path, not pass. Mm, are we there to the splitters yet? Did I pass the splitters? No, here they are. Okay. Do I have any boxes? I don't. Um, I need one. Uh, splitters are right here. Yeah, I, I ain't worried about, I ain't worried about that. What I'm worried about is belts. Belts, belts. Hmm. I can put it right here. Nice. Um, this takes what, how long? Two seconds? That's not that slow. Alright, there we go. I'm good. Thank y'all. And good night. Uh, come on. If you're going to give me stuff, give me stuff. Eventually, I'm going to get around to working on the robots again. Alright. Making them faster. It's time to fill in some of these holes. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, more... Or landfill. Let's go. Trying to have a productive episode for everybody. It's 
So, I'm pretty sure I thought I had... I was gonna have the lead oxide come up here. So do I really want to do that? And then make lead ingots? Because if I do that... They're gonna have to split off. Which is fine. Come up here. And then run in here. Hell, it makes it to where it's not even worth having... Oh, am I out of belt? Damn. And then carbon would obviously come in here. Or wherever carbon's at, I'm going to have to go find it. So let's go find it. I also... Um, yeah, let's go with that. I don't even have those on the... Well, maybe they are. I'm just out of range. Okay, here's carbon. Which I have no belt, so I need belts. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna go get my car. Make this all faster. I wish I had been paying attention about that. Well, we're using chlorine. Because I have it, you know, flare stacking. Every time there's an overflow. Whee! Let's not hit anything. So I am really prone to doing that. Okay, so I'm gonna have to skip one down. Because I was so trying to avoid that. Swear to y'all was trying to avoid that. Wait, I can make the new repair belts, or the repair packs. Oh no, I, I've been could. I, I was thinking there was one that required cobalt. Uh, belts. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's go. So I guess I'll run lead ingots all the way back. Where's where's the closest lead? Lead is down here. So I'm gonna have to run it through all that to come down here. Ugh. Ugh. I hate it because I like Overall, in general, you don't really need a lot of lead. Is that going to run into these? Uh, if I don't... It's going to be one or the other. And I'd rather this be able to come through here. So, let's do... A yellow belt. Why do I have an odd number of fucking underground belts? Stupid robots. Ah, uh, killing me. Killing me. They got one job. One job. I'm gonna go ahead and get the carbon going because... I mean... It ain't a big deal. There we go. Why do I have yellow splitters? Right there. Appreciate it, but I don't need yellow splitters. Don't need yellow splitters. Okay, there's that. Now, we need to get... Uh, this is gonna be our ingots. Okay, okay. 
Gotta remember there are, there are ingots. Shit, did I pass where I need to go? No. No, I gotta get all the way up to here. Uh, and it needs to be... Actually needs to be further down. I may need to work, work my way back. Hmm. Oh, shit, wrong. Wrong item. So I think I got an idea of what I want to do. Hmm. Because these are big items. Like big, big factories. No. I was thinking, well, maybe... Alright, let's start with... Coming... From where iron ingots... Not iron ingots. Lead ingots are being made. And we'll work our way back. Because I can already tell you, if I'm having to run through this, that's already going to be a, a no-go. Um, even red can't make it through there. This may be an issue. And if I move this, like say, get one and move it up here, then I'm going to have to run all this up, all that up, then all that over. When it's just easier to run all that over. So, it needs to come in, it's going to have to come in from the top. It, I hate it, but that's how it's going to have to be. Why do I hate it? Because it's a lot more resources being used. But, it'll save resources. So again, future reference to others that play Factorio C Block. When it comes to this, I recommend you making your factories have a lot of spaces in between. So for example, from your furnace to your uh, induction, machine, your induction furnace, and these, make sure there's plenty of space. Like if you have to count like five down or something. Always make sure you have plenty of space. That's, that's what I suggest. Take it however you want it, but that's what I recommend. I hear worms. Where are you at? Yep. I'm not even over there. Why are you why are you firing over there? Now, sniper turrets. He can almost hit me. Actually, I don't have to get him that close. There we go. So I upgraded my sniper turrets in case anybody's wondering why I'm killing faster. But uh, I can make sniper turret mark twos now. Just like I'm able to make plasma turrets because of the cobalt steel. But anyway, back to, back to what we were doing. So this needs to be ran up, which is what we're doing. Question is how far up? 
So that's what we're working on right now. So these, this needs to come up. Actually, it can come down a little bit. Then we'll have our belt run all the way across. Oh, got it backwards. My bad. Everything looks good. And there's probably some that are like, well, why don't y'all, you know, why don't you use robots to transport all that back and forth? Why? Like, this is, this is cheap. Like, I need to use resources. I'm so backed up on resources. It's not even funny. Okay, so there's that. Um, I need to make sure I put on my splitter what I'm splitting, uh, which is the oxide, the lead oxide. Um, this is actually going to need to go down one and then over. I Oh yeah, that's only enough to supply this. Okay, so there's that. I was gonna say, it doesn't seem like I'm really making any glass. Okay, there's that. Okay, so we got the glass being done now. Now we need to make the glass fiber, which is made in strand casting machine Mark 1s. I do have one. I'm like, I know I have one. So, we're going to build that, like right here. It's so satisfying to fill in all that. Because it's like in the beginning, you're like, oh man, I'm struggling. I need this, this, and this. I have no landfill. I need landfill. Yeah, that's good right there. Um, glass fiber. Uh, oh, there's just so many connections. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Um, give me my power line. If it's going to be like that, then I'll just... You know what? No. If it's going to be like that... Let's run it like this. And then... Wait. Do I want it to come out this way or this way? I'll come out this way. How many is that going to make? Four every four seconds? And then... What I'm going to do is make it to where it is going on both sides of the belt. Alright, so now it needs to go right here. Okay, so I need to fix this. Pretty sure I have... Yeah. I'm sure I have one. Where is it? There it is.
and then you can have all this back. So there we go. There's all them. I'm gonna need more belt, but I'm gonna try to get these all the way over. And the reason why I skipped a space is because I have cobalt steel going underneath that sodium hydroxide. Now, I can run it down. Which I hope I'm not wrong that the cobalt isn't going to be interfering with something else on the bus. Ah, I'm hitting the train. Gotta back it up. Okay. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. So right here is where it's gonna start at. Which is cool because the glass and the glass fiber will be with each other side by side. Sucky part is the glass fiber is only used in this. That's it. So we'll run this down as far as possible. Reason being is we're going to have to run it down anyway. In general. Because once... Once we get the glass fiber being made, which I'm going to have to have that be made on its own anyway. So... Hmm. We'll see. We'll see what I'll do. Because what I was thinking is, hopefully there's a spot I can tie in. I'm not going to go too far. I'm going to go try to find where I'm making... You know what? Let me just do this. There. Um, where I'm making... What is it again? Liquid resin. I'm going to see where I'm making liquid resin. Actually, easy way to find it is... Look for the circuits. There are circuits. Alright, there's... Here's the phenolic boards. Resin. Here we go. Oh, we're right there. Alright, so... Here's our liquid resin. Which we're just making urea gas and formaldehyde. Which... All of that is stupid easy. It's just methanol and uh, formaldehyde and methanol is being made right here from carbon dioxide hydrogen gas and green metal catalyst green metal catalyst is aluminium and silver which i got a crap ton of so let's see if there's an area where we can you know add this in somewhere Letting them give me all the stuff that I need. Yeah, everything is. This is for our power lines. Ooh, that's another good point. Uh, what do I need for the power lines? That's going to be the thing. Titanium and insulated wire. How do I... How do I make insulated wire? Um... I may not be able to make it there. Oh, and I didn't make it to where it's on the bus. Ooh, shit. Uh, 
Oh, I didn't think about that. But, um, insulated wire. It's not underneath there. I know it's not definitely going to be underneath there. Insulated wire. It's just tin copper wire and rubber. I know I'm making rubber. Why is this... Okay. Where am I making rubber? Rubber was the butane and all that bullshit. Yeah, the butadiene and styrene, which... Let me see if I can find that. There's urea gas, that's fine. That's our formaldehyde. This makes two every one second. I could probably bump that up. But anyway, I'm trying to look for the gas making. Okay, good, 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 good. Here's all our gas making. And the reason why I'm looking for the gas is because I was hoping maybe I can find where I'm making rubber at. Because, see, we have a crap ton of butane and ethane. Yeah, it's not up here, I don't think. I think it's further down. Okay, um... So... Come on, give me everything. Yeah, yes. Okay, let me find the... Okay, here we go. Butane. We'll just follow the butane down. Butane. Butane. Okay, here we go. Butane and ben uh, butane making benzene, which pretty sure I have both on the bus. I do. Uh huh. Uh huh. This is making butadiene. Okay, here's my rubber. So right at the train tracks. Make sure I write this down. Oh. So, rubber is at train tracks. All right. So... What I can do is actually probably remove all this. So to make the, what was it called? Insulated wire. It just needs tin copper wire, which is great, and rubber. Insulated wire. Is it used for anything else? I'm pretty sure it's used in science. Yes. Electric poles, which, like I said, need to be ran up. Titanium will be added on the bus, so that'll be on the right side, which we can add that in. Not an issue. Insulated wire will have to be ran up. Which is fine. Oh. Nice. Do I have even Mark IIs? I do have Mark IIs. Am I, make, am I using Mark IIs right now? 
I do. I need to put that in here in my inventory. There. Then this can be my substations too. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what to do, what to do, what to do. I'm gonna remove this. <coughs> if I need to put it back, I can put it back. It's not a problem. I didn't want the fish. But <coughs> okay. Oh, I don't have any assembling machines? We'll just get a Mark I for right now. Because we have rubber right here. Ooh, I wonder if they can be made in... What all can they be made in? Craft. <gasps> Ooh, they can be made in these assembly mach or electronic machines. Ooh. Ooh. So, let's think about it. It needs tin copper wire and rubber both the same amount. Like, a lot. What is this? That's purified water? Oh, I was gonna say, no way that's purified water. That's hydrogen fluoride gas. I was about to say, what? What is going on? Hydrofluoric acid? This is from hydrogen fluoride gas. I'm pretty sure I thought I had hydrofluoric acid on the bus. Come on, robot, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I'm trying to find something. I'm trying to be quick about this. Shit. Am I not producing hydrofluoric acid? Or not hydrofluoric, what is it? Yeah, hydrofluoric acid. Uh, let me look real quick. Um, Yeah, I have it being made up there. Benzene, ethylene, and hydrofluoric acid make ethyl benzene. But here's my rubber. That's butadiene. That's styrene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here it is. Wait, what the shit is going on? I've got hydrofluoric acid. All right, we're gonna go look something, look at something real quick. I should have brought my car. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna be traveling so far down. All right, well, I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to go try to figure out what the issue is with the hydrofluoric acid. Because um, there's hydrofluoric, hydrofluoric gas.
which is made from well I don't want to purposely make it which is a byproduct from hydro basically making ethyl benzene it's a byproduct and it's just used to make well if I have hydrofluoric acid up north then I can just make hydrofluoric gas I just oh, I gotta look real quick so this needs hydrofluoric acid and it'll produce hydrogen fluoride gas which is fine because I'll just take it Yeah, I'll just, the output of it will come down here and turn it into hydrofluoric acid. But it looks like I had the hydrogen fluor, hydrofluoric gas, is that what it is? Yeah, hyd, hydrogen fluoric, hydrogen, is that hydrofluoric? Hydrogen fluoride gas on the bus. So what I'm thinking is I could sit here and replace that. with insulated wire and if that's the case then I can split some of it off right here and run it back up north so anyway I'm gonna work on that and I'll come back when I start actually working on this area right here and running it back up so I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next episode